Hey, hey peeps. So this is kind of a cool video because it's um, a two-in-one. One, it's an update on my uh, Sansevieria slash, uh, what is it, Dracaena? They're classified as now? Uh, I don't know. Cylindrica. I'll always call it a Sansevieria. You guys know what I mean. So my uh, update on my uh, Sansevieria Cylindrica, which I potted together a year ago. And... Um, I've had these for about two years now, so uh, if I remember, I'll link the old videos below if you want to see how uh, they've grown in the meantime. But um, the cool thing is, as you'll notice, this rather sad looking pot down here, which is why I wanted to kind of do these guys together, is uh, this pot here is the mother pot of where I got these from, <laughs> believe it or not. And they are in a rather sorry state. So this pot here was originally um, a pot of just spikes like this that had been cut off and propagated together. And there were like several spikes in here. And those spikes started to give off these babies and uh, multiply and stuff, which is what they do. Um, because, yeah, when you see the spikes, they're not actually growing like that that's just a, a cutting and getting and this is ultimately the result I, obviously it will look a lot healthier than this because this is rather uh, neglected and sorry looking but um yeah that's that's kind of what happened so i took um two years ago i took a couple of cuttings which are these two here and you can see there is a nine ten day difference now, whereas this one gets um, east-facing light and quite a, a good amount of it, I'd say it was in medium light, and it gets water, it gets attention when needed, and it's <laughs> grown kind of wild. But when you see the mother pot, in the two years that I've had it, there's a night and day difference. Now, this one is kept in a bathroom with no natural light at all. And I think sometimes it's watered, but I don't know, there, there's no roots on here. I mean, these ones feel like they've got roots, so we're going to take them out of the pot and have a look and do a little bit of a repot and hopefully rescue this. But, yeah, you can see it is really, uh, <laughs> this is how the, these plants started out two years ago and there's just no difference. So it's kind of a testament to Sansevieria being labelled this low to no light plant. Now it will survive, but it won't grow, it won't thrive, it will just be and not be very happy. So this has been sat in that lightless bathroom for about two to three years. And this is the result of it. It's still hanging in there, but barely. So what I'm going to do is I've prepared some soil here. And I think I'm going to add some orchid bark and ceramic chips to this. Because so far this is a mixture of uh, cococoa, uh, potting soil, sand. And I think I'm going to add some, co um, some orchid bark because uh, I'm going to shoot another video with my uh, Hoya Carnosa compactor because uh, that one really needs a repot and without spoiling it just yeah it just needs a repot so I'm going to be doing a video about that um, but anyway I digress so uh, I'm just going to go get some orchid bark to mix in there and then we can whip this guy out of its pot and uh, see what's going on in there and uh, apologies guys I seem to have misplaced my tripod um, so uh, I might have to buy a new one, but I'm, I'm still going to look before uh, before I give up. <laughs> so um, uh, I'm going to have to shoot it as I go kind of thing and not um, as I do it like yeah, real time kind of thing. I'll just show you my progress along the way. And by the way, if you've noticed a sound difference, it's because I've actually bought a nicer microphone for, uh, for my camera slash phone. Um, and I really wanted to, to say thank you because um, I actually reached the over 1,000 subscriber 
mark and I know I haven't really acknowledged it although I should really do it because you know thank you if you've subscribed and you're watching it really does mean a lot thank you and I make a little bit of money not a whole lot but it, the, the money I've made so far because I've reached over a thousand subscribers I, I bought the tripod <laughs> which is now missing and I bought my microphone and a few other things to improve some production quality so um I just wanted to say thank you. So, you know, I haven't, you know, not noticed, and I do appreciate that you subscribe and watch. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, let's get on with this uh, repot. So, this is the orchid bark I'm going to use, Ceramis. Not sponsored by them, but I'm just very happy with the product. So, uh, this is what I use for my orchids. Therefore, it's what I use when I need to make chunky succulent. Succulent? Is it? Oh my god, I can't talk. Succulent! There we go. <laughs> when I make, need to make uh, chunky succulent fast fading soil. So uh, I'm just going to open this bag and get some in there. And uh, there it is with uh, everything mixed together. So that's looking good. Okay, so what we have here. Is a, a pot like this, just a normal plastic pot inside a, a cash pot. So we're just going to give this a clean away as well for the sake of uh, freshness and all that. So back in a mug. Okay, so this is what we've got. You can see they're just falling off. Look at those in a second. I'm interested to see there's any roots so doesn't really look like it no okay so I'm just going to get rid of this eep this is really not good. Um, there's no roots, and if there are any roots, they're um, they're extremely dry and like paper. Uh, just uh. so. Uh, um, I guess I'm going to repot these and look after them for a little while and uh, try and get them recovered and then I can uh, return them. So uh, I've cleaned out the pots that uh, they came in, prepared the soil, so I'm just going to put some soil in the pot and uh, put these guys back in. And then I'll show you the result when uh, they're all potted up again. Okay, and here it is. Well, here they are. All potted up again. They look uh, a lot better. So this is essentially a propagation. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang on to this until I start seeing signs of uh, recovery and root growth and then I can make an update video and then I will return this to its owner but uh, in the meantime I'm going to hang on to it for a few weeks and see what happens. So uh, hopefully uh, if it doesn't take too long but um, if need be I can always ask them to upgrade it if they really want it back. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, at least learned a little something. <laughs> so um, as always, thanks for watching, it's always appreciated, much love and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.